friends in this video we will see how litigant can register on e filing services certain services like video recording of oath e signing on pleadings etc are available to litigant access the e filing services and click on the option new user register here the registration form is seen by default advocate is selected litigant may have to select litigant for proceeding further select the state where your case is filed if you are an individual enter your full name enter date of birth mobile number and email id if litigant is an organization check on organization details on selecting organization type of organization that is whether an organization is a central government department state government department bank insurance company public limited company educational institute etc is shown select an appropriate to your organization and enter name of the organization set the password and re enter to confirm password must be at least 6 characters which contain at least one number one lower case one upper case letter and one special character from at hash dollar percentage and star click on get otp the otp will be sent to your mobile number enter the otp and click on verify otp on successful verification of otp click on submit your registration gets completed and you will be assigned with the unique registration code the next step is to login to the e filing services select state your user id is your bar registration number your mobile number your email id of your unique code that you have received by sms at the time of registration you can use any of these options as user id to log in to the system enter password if codes in your state are using bilingual option in the functioning you may be prompted to select english and the local language of the state for example if maharashtra is selected as state you may choose the state language of your respective state by default english is selected let us log in using default language as english on login for the first time you may see several options available in the e filing services but you may not be able to use the option as your profile is incomplete the tab verify mobile email is shown as red click on the verify mobile email tab and you will see your mobile number is verified however your email is yet to be verified email id shown is the one provided at the time of registration if required you may change it now click on get otp otp will be sent to your email check your email enter the otp received on email and click on verify otp on successful verification of otp click on submit your profile is now complete other options like change of password uploading of photo or your profile picture is advisable however it is not mandatory your registration and verification is now complete and you may start using e services thanks for watching the video